Welcome back to Saladi Etor. It's a room of lights. It's fantastic. It's Monte Carlo. That's where we are. Golden Club Promotions bringing you the main event now. The WBA IPO middleweight title of the world. Nobuhiro Ishida from Japan challenges Gennady Golovkin. GGG Ishida, 37 years old. Golovkin is 30 years old. Rich advantage favors the challenger. And look at that weight, 72.30 kilo, kilograms for Ishida, 71.80 kilograms for the champion Golovkin. Impressive record, but let's look at the challenger first. 34 fights, 24 wins, 8 losses, 2 draws, 9 KOs, and Golovkin. His is an unblemished professional record, 25 fights, 25 wins, with 22 KOs. Here is Jean-Pierre, our ring announcer. Please, ladies and gentlemen, you welcome into the ring the legend of Great Britain, coming from Manchester, former double world champion in the super lightweight division and welterweight division, the hitman, Ricky Hatton. Please, Ricky, you are more than welcome here. Ricky, the hitman, Hatton. He was the first South African in history inducted into the International Hall of Fame. Il a été le premier Sud-Africain de l'histoire à être élu au célèbre Hall of Fame, donc dans la maison du fameux aux États-Unis. C'était en 2004. It was in 2004. Please welcome the great referee, Mr. Chris Christodoulou, le grand arbitre, Monsieur Chris Christodoulou. Now, he was the WBA king of the super light, the super fast weight division between 1987 and 1992. Il a été le roi des super pour la WBA entre donc 1987 et 1992. The Hall of Famer, South African fighter, Brian Mitchell. Lui aussi donc élu au Hall of Fame en 2009, Brian Mitchell, qui travaille maintenant pour uh, Super Sport Television in South Africa. He's the expert of the Super Sport Channel in South Africa. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are so proud to welcome here on the Ring in Monte Carlo, one of the greatest fighters of all time, l'un des plus grands boxeurs de l'histoire, the magnificence, Marvin Marvelous Hagler.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main fight of the evening. The WBA and IBO middleweight championship of the world. Please welcome the challenger from Japan, Nobuhiro Ishida. The challenger, Nobuhiro Ishida from Japan, former WBA interim super welterweight champion. He fought the best in the division. He knows that here in Monte Carlo, this may as well be his last chance to win a world title. 37 years old now, although his last fight ended in disappointment. Looked good in training, looked good in preparation throughout this time here in Monte Carlo. And now, the champion from Kazakhstan, Gennady Triple G. Golovki. He's certainly one of the best in the world, regarded highly by many in boxing, right up there with the pound-for-pound -pound fighters. Golovkin, 30 years old, sports an unblemished professional record. Quality, quality fighter, a true professional. Over 350 fights as an amateur boxer steps into the ring to defend his title against the man from Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, now the national anthem, les hymnes nationaux maintenant. Merci de vous lever. Thank you.
of El Casino de Monte Carlo presents in association with K2, the WBO and high BO World Middleweight Championship. Championnat du monde, WBA et IBO des poids moyens. The officials are, les officiels sont the supervisor for the WBA is Mr. Renzo Bagnarol from Nicaragua. For the IBO is Ed Levine from USA. Les juges, the judges are from Panama, Guillermo Perez Pineda. From England, Mr. John Coyle. And from Panama, Mr. Ricardo Duncan. And the referee of the World Championship is from the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Stanley Christodoulou. Now, fighting in the red corner, coming from Osaka, Japan, weighing at 71.9 kilograms, pesé à 71 kg 900, 37 years old, il a 37 ans. He was in 2010. WBA, interim light middleweight champion. Il a été en 2010 le champion du monde par intérim dans la catégorie des poids Super Walter. 24 wins, 24 victoires, 9 wins by knockouts, 8 losses, 2 draws, seulement 8 défaites et 2 matchs nuls. The challenger, Nobuhiro Ishida. And now fighting in the blue corner, coming from Kazakhstan, but based in Stuttgart, Germany. Il vit à Stuttgart en Allemagne, mais il vient donc du Kazakhstan. 30 years old, il a 30 ans. Waiting at 72 kilos, point three. 72 kilos, 300. Undefeated in 25 professional fights, winning 20 by knockouts. Il est invaincu en 25 combats, remporté 22 victoires par KO. He is the current IBO and WBA middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Gennady Triple G Golovki. The president watching ringside. <laughs> Right, you know the rules, shake hands, and I want to protect yourself at all times, and good luck. This is the main fight of the evening, 12 rounds. This is the big one we've been waiting for, Bumrani, WBA and IBO, middleweight champion of the world, Triple G. His nickname, Kennedy Golovkin, rated as one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound, 25 and 0. 22 by way of knockout. And he's a terrific fighter. You let expect Ishida to take control. Taller fighter is trying to do just about that right now. Let's see if he's able to keep the champion Golovkin at bay with his long reach. If he keeps touching him, touching him with that left hand, is there going to be sufficient authority to make the champion think twice before trying to come in? Uh, judging by the, the, the public training session that I witnessed this week, Bumlani, he, he, he's such a good fighter, this Golovkin. I have seen him fight before as well. And as I said, a true professional. The way he stretches, the way he shadow boxes, the way he, he hits the pads. A brilliant little fighter. And they expect him to, to be the next Manny Pacquiao of the world. Or the next Floyd Mayweather even. All round quality here. Two quality boxers in the ring. And quality officials, the three judges at ringside. And Hall of Fame referee Stan Christodoulou in charge of this one. Beautiful jab, jab. Golovkin. Uh, but we know the fight game works. Anything can happen. One punch changes a fight. One punch changes a fighter's career. Ishida has said repeatedly coming to this fight, this is my big moment. Hey, he's come to fight, there's no doubt about it. He's got a big opportunity here. If he can take the WBA and the IBO middleweight championship from Gennady Golovkin, then he's the real deal. Then he's in the big money. But I think he's got his hands full here tonight. 
Now he tries the left hook. Ishida. A ah, good left hook from Ishida. He's got a beautiful jab, which he turns now and again into the left hook. Well, Ishida's being aggressive in round one. Ishida's well, the bleeding. Bleeding, the bleeding from the lip, yes, from Ishida, but he came into this fight with a flu blister. Yeah, at the, at the, at the training, he already had a, a blister. <laughs> but now GGG is changing his attack. He wants to go a little bit to the body. Well, there you see Golovkin's corner, Abel Sanchez. The trainer, Ben Lira, assistant, Max Golovkin, the other assistant. And as I keep saying, a very, very professional young man, this world champion. You see slow-mo action from round one. Golovkin pops that jab out. Oh, what a jab. Slips the, the jab, slips the left hook. Great jab. And a pretty close round, round one, but I'd have to shade it. Golovkin's way, the WBA and IBO world champion, was superior with the jab. Thank Chris Adulu, International Boxing Hall of Fame referee and judge, first South African ever inducted into the Hall of Fame. Round number two, the champion in the black trunks, the challenger in the red and silver trunk, champion GGG Golovkin. Ishida is the challenger. Golovkin unbeaten since turning pro in 2006. Well, the nice thing is uh, Pumrani as well is that the Japanese challenger has come to fight. He's not intimidated by the champion. And that's exactly what we wanted to see tonight. A real WBA and IBO middleweight world championship. The great Marvin Hagler, former middleweight champion, is at ringside. And we spoke about it in the ring five minutes ago, what a good fighter Golovkin is. Ishida is not prepared to take a step backward. He's standing his ground, pretty much showing this champion little or no respect. Well, that's gonna, that could end up being a problem for him. If he's standing in the way of a good fight. Oh! Terrific left uppercut, right hand by the champion Golovkin. His oh, head. and another big left hook. And it's all Golovkin. Head. Just a matter of time before Golovkin found his perfect range. What a professional fighter this is. Wonderful selection of punches. The baby assassin, he's got that smiley little baby face, but when he gets in there, can he fight? Oh, good left hook from Golovkin. Oh, what a right hand from Golovkin. Ishida says, bring it on. Oh, Golovkin has already found his range as early as the second round. And his timing is absolutely perfect. The young aspiring professional boxers watching this fight from around the world. This is the kind of condition you should be in. Then you'll be able to fight like this guy. Good referring Stanley Christodel. Each time the hands are free. Although you'll see the Ishida holding with the other, on the other side. But each time the hands are free, Stanley Christodel lets them fight on. Ishida doesn't like that uppercut. Yeah, Chris Dooley's been in the big league for a long time. He knows how to referee a fight. Perhaps for the first time in round number two, we've seen the punching power of the champion, Golovkin. Oh, there it is again. Right Ishida survives. Oh, he got hurt there with two big right hands. 
Ishida is cut beneath the right eye. For well, Nubira Ishida's corner, Victor Nandis is the trainer. Rudy Nandis Jr. cut man and Nori Takatini is the assistant. One just gets a feeling that he's not going to be around for 12 rounds. Never been stopped before, in fact. Nubira Ishida, but he's facing one of the best fighters on the planet right now. A fighter who has made six successful title defenses and is widely considered the best in the world in the middleweight division. There are many key fights for him out there, Golovkin. And in fact, Golovkin was scheduled to, to fight Tommy Westhausen at one time to move up in division. That would have been a terrific fight. A lot shorter, a lot smaller than Westhausen. But he, des he decided to stay as a middleweight and probably made the right decision because he's such a good middleweight champion. Upright, no upper body movement from Ishida. Golovkin can hardly, hardly miss. Uh, he does it all perfectly, Pumlani. I mean, look at it defensively, he's great. He's so accurate. I mean, you can see the condition he's in just by looking at his body. And he's just taking his time. Just they wearing his man down. In the center of the ring. Well, in fact, these two fighters Beautiful are making... Beautiful right hand from Ishida. They're making Stan Kusaduli's job easier because they've just, as you said, standing in the middle of the ring and just... Trading leather. This has all the makings of a fight that will not go the distance. Well, and of course, a fight that will not go the distance where Shido will be the loser. Because right now he's taking lots of punches. Defensively, not very good as Ishida. And he has not been able to keep GGG honest with that jab to make him be aware that giant, he will giant, be punished if he comes giant inside. Of a man in size, uh, say Pumlani for the Japanese man. He must be a big guy over there. But he's got his hands fully against it. The WBA in the RBO middleweight champion. Oh, big right hand. And Ishida's gone down and he's out. It's all over. Stan Christodoulou is called the over. He's badly hurt. He caught up. His head caught the bottom rope. An overhand right from Gennady Golovkin. And this fight is over. WBA and IBO middleweight champion Gennady GGG Golovkin has retained his title via a third round overhand booming right hand. He came to defend his title. He came to put on a fantastic di display. He's done just that. Ishida seems to be okay. Ringside physician gets him back inside the ring. There is a stool there for him. Referee Stanley Christodoulou did not even bother to count. Wow, well, Pumlani, how good is this Gennady Golovkin? Sensational. He's absolutely sensational. They're going to battle to beat this guy for many years. This is the Manny Pacquiao of boxing in 2013. Believe me, he's right up there with the best in the world after Manny Pacquiao, pound for pound. Golovkin. Well, the, br the brilliant thing is that uh, there's a guy called Sergio Martinez, and the two of them will be such a super fight. But they're both promoted by Lou de Bella, so I'm not sure if that fight's ever going to happen. But then there is Canelo Alvarez. There is Julio Cesar Chavez. He's got so many options. I don't think Golovkin will have a, a problem with, with Chavez or with uh, Alvarez. Let's take a look at the end. Oh, there's a right hand over the top. Boom. Wait for it. Boom. On the side of the left cheek. Boom, there it comes. Down and out and all over. 
He never even made the count. Stan Christodoulou just said it's over straight away. Brilliant, brilliant knockout. And what a terrific fighter, this Golovkin. He wasn't even in a fight tonight, and he's won by knockout. So let's get the official time of the stoppage then from our ring announcer Jean Philippe. Now the official decision, the winner by round three after two minutes, 11 seconds. Vainqueur donc par KO dans la troisième reprise après deux minutes et onze secondes. And still, the WBA IBO middleweight champion of the world. Gennady Triple G Golf successfully defending his titles here in Monte Carlo. Sitting next side to me, next